Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Abdul Verma and today I have created something uh, rather different from which I see and this is one of the experiments which I've done and this you can see in my hand is a QR code scanner and I'll tell you this is basically a 3D printed QR code and you can see I'm not uh, recording a video from my camera app I'm doing it from screen recorder so that I can show you guys this demo if you see I can remove it and uh, I'll just click on this view QR code details and you can see it has just my phone has just scanned my QR code and it will open my LinkedIn page so I thought it's very nice to have one of these QR code in your pocket if somebody asks you about your details you can just show them this QR code and they can just scan it if you can see my camera has just now scanned it and I can just tap on that and I can open those you know your friend or whatever your colleagues can just go onto your website uh, on your profile and can see that it's really amazing to have one of these so today in this video I'm gonna tell you how you can create one of these QR code scanner using your 3d printer just just I'm gonna tell you what is the prerequisite for this particular project you need a fusion 360 of course you need one 3d printer and I would suggest you guys to have the 3d printer of a good quality 3d printer or at least you're gonna have a normal printer with the good quality settings so this project may take some time it for me it took around two hours or uh, two hours 30 minutes and I would prefer if you put the settings to you know to the highest or the maximum value your printer can take and try to give like three hours three and a half hours and the reason I'm telling you because this is not acting as a very good QR scanner for now yeah uh, because if you know the QR scanners has few uh, details uh, like if few details are missing the QR scanner still works so that's what happening here uh, in this particular diagram or in this particular QR scanner there are few details which are missing but this, still the camera can uh, detect it so for the better uh, detection you can just go for the maximum settings now I'm gonna hit uh, I'm gonna go to my computer I'm gonna show you how I have created this so I'm gonna meet you there Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Abhul Verma and I'm gonna continue from there. Uh, I'm gonna create this particular QR code scanner in 3D printing and I'm gonna show you how you guys can create. So you need a 3D printer, I already told you. You need a Fusion 360 which you can see right here on my desktop and also you need a printer software. I have this flash print because the printer which I'm using is Flash Forge Dreamer NX. Let me tell you, this is not a dual extruder. This is not a work of dual extruder. This is just a single extruder printer can do this. All you need to do is some give some pause in your print and the printer is gonna stop at particular height. And after that, you can just give the different filament, different color, try to create as much contrast as you can. I have used the black color with the blue filament. It's a light blue. So that's why the camera can take it. If you give dark blue or at least a very dark filament, both the colors are very dark, your camera cannot pick it up. The best combination is of course the black with the white but black with the white is a very common design so I thought let's give it some different color so I give it the blue color. Now let's uh, wasting more time let's go and create our own QR scanner. First of all you need to decide which website you want to create a QR for. For this tutorial I'm going to take my Facebook page so let me go to facebook.com slash my name. You guys can go ahead and send me the friend request if you want to. You can see my profile page is open so I'm going to copy this URL and go to Chrome browser here and go to this website which I'm going to open right now is to create a QR code. So you can see this website, just type Google and you will see the first link as QR code generator. Just click on that and paste the website to which you want to create your own QR code. There you go, you can see my QR code. Uh, let me choose some different design. I use this scan me for my design. So for now I'm gonna select some different design. So uh, yeah, this one is good for me. Uh, I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna click on download JPG. You don't have to sign it up for this, but give it some time, the download will start. There you go, I've downloaded it. Let's click on this and see the design. That looks good to me. All the second step is to basically convert this. Uh, uh, let me check whether it's a PNG or it's a JPEG file. It's a PNG file. So all you need to do is to search on Google saying that PNG to SVG converter. Now 
Now, I have tried this online SVG converter. It doesn't work for this project. I prefer this PNG to JPEG. Uh, it is from PNG to SVG.com. I'm not supporting this website. It's just the website which I use for my project. So you guys go ahead and click on that. And you can scroll down and you need to drop your PNG file over here. So I'm gonna drag and drop it here. Oops, I made a mistake. So let me go back. Okay, I'm gonna click this file. I'm gonna choose it from my library and uh, okay it, right here at this point you need to reduce the color to just black and white don't go for gray color or anything else just reduce it to black and white that's all you need just click on generate and there you go just download the SVG file and here it's downloaded you just click on this and you can see the SVG file right over here now you need to go to uh, Fusion 360 so you can see I've already opened the Fusion 360 this is the card which I've just now showed you so let me save it and uh, I'm gonna go and create a new project the first thing that I prefer to do is to use the base uh, I'm sorry about that so I'm gonna use this uh, base to draw my uh, SVG image on that once you select the sketch and select the plane, you just need to go to insert and click on insert SVG and click on this folder icon and select the SVG which you have just now downloaded. There you go. You can reduce the size if you think you don't want to go for such a big design but don't reduce it too much. If you're going to reduce the size too much, your printer cannot take it. That's good enough for me. I'm going to take it. I'm going to increase a little bit of size and that's it. Click on OK. The second thing that you need to do is to refer the image which you have downloaded from QR code generator website and paste it onto this SVG so that you guys can just see which part should be black and which part should be white. So I'm going to go to insert and insert canvas. Select this image icon and select your canvas which is the PNG image. Select any of the plane and try to match the size of the image with the uh, with the size of the SVG which you have right here. So you can see here. There's one more option you can do it. Uh, right now it's not matching. Just let me reduce it down a little bit more. Take your time. Do it correctly. Don't hurry up too much. Use some values. <coughs> okay, and once it's almost done, you don't have to be very accurate on this part because you are not going to use this image for anything else just to refer it. All you need to do is to select the uh, white or the black part, whatever you prefer to be engraved upwards. So I'm gonna select here the, uh, I've already created the black part as one of the things. So I'm gonna create the white part this time. Sorry, I'm gonna select the black part and I'm gonna put it upwards. So let me show you what I'm saying about. Just press Q on your keyboard or press and pull. This is the tool that you have to use. Select all the black elements. Okay, here you can see it's actually selecting the, that's good enough for me, so. Okay, I'm gonna go for the white one because I can see the black one is not that good, so I'm gonna go with the white one. Select only the white elements here, so. Using this uh, image, you can refer which are the white elements up here. You need to put it, pull it upwards. So let's do that. Make sure you don't select any wrong element. If you do that, you're gonna make a blender over here. So just make, take your time, select only the white elements, and uh, if, just try to reduce the size of your QR. Don't keep it too much complicated. There's an option where you can select the complicates of your QR code. So that the less elements you have to select here and you can uh, transfer the data to the QR code scanner app. 
make sure everything is selected the one you want it to i want to select this scan me option also so i'm gonna go here zoom in and uh, okay there's some problem with this uh QR code scanner okay fine this is good enough for me i think uh, i can use this one uh rest i will take a take later on so hit on uh just give it 3mm i prefer 3mm because 3mm gives me good strength to the qr code this if you see refer this one the thickness of this blue part and the black part both are 3mm keep it 3mm it's good for uh design strength you need to do is just give select uh and the next step is basically to select the uh, offset plane so go to construct select offset plane select the plane of the bottom of the qr code make a 3mm of a uh, height from that particular uh, base and uh, just try to create a new sketch all you need to do is to select the rectangle tool you can turn off your canvas at this point and select the the corner of the body and try to select the exact thickness i think this is not good so i'm going to control z this Okay, I'm gonna select uh, the line tool here. I'm gonna select this part and I'm gonna extend it to this part. And uh, I'm gonna give rectangle, select this to this part. I'm gonna take the offset. Select all the four lines take the offset make it minus 2 select Q select both the faces and select the bottom uh, base and this will going to extend it keep it joined for now but just in case, uh, uh, just for now, just keep it new body. Don't keep it joined. I'll tell you the reason. All you need to do is to see whether the body that you're looking for have the perfect QR code or not. All you need to do is to go to model and select render. Now go to setup, select physical material. All you need to do is to go to uh, plastic and select this acrylic resin black because this is just need to check whether the code that you are, uh, the QR code which you are seeing in the front is basically the one that you want or not. Uh, is it working or not? So all you need to do is to use your phone at this point, which have the QR code scanner and try to scan this particular uh, QR code which you see on the screen. I'm gonna do it the same. You can see I'm holding my phone here. Let me open the QR code app. And there you go my phone has just now scanned this qr code so it means it's a correct we have selected the correct white elements and you can see on my phone my facebook profile is open so all i can do is i can proceed from here let's go back to model and what you need to do is to basically go to go to this step where you just uh, created the new base just click on edit feature instead of new body click on join Hit on OK and you can see the whole body become a one single body. And that's it. That's all you need to print. I, I, I would prefer to give a round surface to this particular QR code that looks good. So I'm going to select the fillet tab and I'm going to select all the four corners. Not to make it uh, square because square doesn't look good. Curves is good. Okay. I'm going to give 1 mm of the round surface, no, one, 1 is very less. I'm going to give 2 mm, and there you go. And that's it. So right click on your body, save as a STL, click on OK. I'm going to select my desktop and give it as body 2, because body 1 is the first one which I have showed you in the starting. 
There you go. All you need to do is to close the application. I'm gonna save this project for you guys to refer it if you want to. I will put it in a thing work or somewhere just you can guys can just go there and refer this design if you want to and also this video if you want to create your own QR code. Okay, let's go to our desktop. And I'm gonna open the flash print. I'm using Flash for 3G printer which has this software to uh, you know to give your design to the printer so I'm using this one right now put it, drag and drop it here it, it is it may it's a hundred percent chance I would say to that your design is not going to be accepted by your printer it's gonna say that it's not a correct model don't repair the model please there are a hell lot of details on that that's why the software is asking you to repair it just click on ignore it just rotate it the way you want it to position it on the platform and click setter now before giving the print we need the last step which is we have to stop the printer at 3 mm height but I won't suggest 3 mm go for 3.1 or 3.2 mm because in case your 3 mm height is basically the your base first last layer then your last layer is gonna match with the color of the QR code and your QR code won't work so give 3.2 mm height and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here just click on print select PLA I'm using PLA here you can use ABS or whatever you want to I'm gonna select draft as enabled and I'm gonna give standard for now but all you need to do is just go to more options go to others Pause at heights. This is going to be one of the options. Go through your uh, slicer tool and try to find this option. Click on edit and select 3. Point, I'm sorry, 3.2 mm. Okay, I'm going to set 3.1 mm, not 2 mm. 3.1 mm is good enough for me. Just click on plus symbol and hit on OK. You can see my printer is going to pause at 3.1 mm height when it has started printing the QR code. That's all we want. At that point, we're going to change the filament from black color to the blue color or any dark color or any bright color to the dark color. We just need the contrast for camera to recognize our QR code. Two hours later. So there you go, guys. It's done here and it took me around uh, two hours to completely build this. And uh, you can see it's a little bit larger than the one which I have printed yes, uh, uh, which I showed you earlier and it is a bit larger that's why you can see that my camera is detecting it much better as the previous one so let's see uh, is it the URL is correct or not let's see let's, uh, so I'm gonna tap on this view view uh, QR code and there you go it said it has detected it I'm sorry about that I have screen logged this so let me just quickly unlock this okay there you go and you can see my Facebook profile is up there so camera is detecting it correctly uh, let me reopen the camera app and check the old one yep it's detecting correctly and yes it's correct it detecting correctly so uh, let's talk about the build quality. The build is very good. I would say it stopped the printer stop at the correct time. Uh, it stopped at the point where it should stop and I change the filament. I give the blue filament again and it works correctly. And you can see I've added my name over here so that people can just know like the information they are going to get for the QR code is belong to this person which is me. And pretty much that's it. That's it for guys. Uh, this is all I have experimented and worked out flawlessly and I'm really loving this thing so I'm gonna create few more of these things and I'm gonna stick it uh, to my you know to my office desk or somewhere somewhere you can see here I've added the double sided tape so I'll go and add it and stick it to the whiteboard which we have in our desk so that's it guys that's the video for and if you really like this video please share comment subscribe and uh, I'm gonna post Keep, I'm gonna keep on posting new projects with 3D printing, electronics, whatever I learn every day. I'm gonna post it on YouTube and hopefully you guys learn it from my videos. And share me if you create any projects, something like this. If you have created any 3D prints which you want to share, just put it down in the comments. Thank you very much.